Welcome to my show, Overcome by Love. I'm Prophetess Cora Langford, and I'm so excited to be hosting this show on Cross TV. I want to encourage you that when you allow the Holy Spirit to work in your life, there's nothing impossible that God can't do. In Mark uh, 10, 27, it says, And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. And I just want to do an opening prayer for right now. And I um, want to pray for people. If you have any prayer requests, um, there's a telephone number that's um, listed, and the number is 661-233-8787. So please call, and I would love to pray for you on live TV right now. This is going to be an amazing um, a show today. Um, I'm, I'm here to encourage you to step out in faith and do what God has called you to do. We have so many stagnant Christians just sitting because the devil lies to them. He, he gives them doubt in their mind, and, 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 and then their confidence starts going down. And I'm here to tell you right now that the devil is a liar. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That's John 10.10. 10. But Jesus came so that, he, that we might have life and that we would have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. That is just so amazing. That's just like the best thing ever. So... I'm, I'm here to, to give you a little brief story about my life, about my journey, and what God has done, and, and what the devil tried to do to stop me from even being here today. So I was, I was raised in a Christian home. Um, I was saved when I was 11 years old, and I received the Holy Spirit at that time. Um, my parents were Pentecostal, so I went to church. Sunday school, Sunday service, and then came back in the Sunday evening, and then during the midweek, and then if we had youth, and we came back for that. So I was raised in, in, in the Pentecostal church, and um, a, a sad thing that happened to me when I was a, a young little girl, um, up until about 7 to 11 years old, I was molested, and it was, um, it was something that I never spoke about to anyone. And let me tell you, I'm here to be transparent with you, okay? I, I don't have anything to hide. There's, I, I just want you, the audience, to know that, that God is alive, and he's a good God. And, and he will come out of the midst of any trouble and help you. All he's doing, he's just knocking at the door for you, for you to open up that door for him. He's always there for us. He, he will never leave us. It's just he's calling his people to come back to him. So... So from that, from that time, of, of, from the age of 7 till about 11, until I got saved, um, my stepfather um, molested me, and I never said anything to anyone. I, I was very ashamed, and, and, and even, I guess I had guilt, and I was afraid that if I said anything that, that no one would do anything anyway, so it was kind of like a broken promise because your, your parents are there to support you, to love you, to guide you, that that's their promise is to take care of you as a young child and, and even as adults. You know, that's why we have to honor our, our parents, our mother and fathers. And so during that time, um, I, I ended up going through um, playing sports. I was a really good athlete. And for whatever reason, I was always positive. I always inspired my teammates. I encouraged them. And God just had me on this path so that I could always be positive and help others. And, and I loved helping others, and I always wanted to be there. So if someone fell down or, or um, if, if something happened, like in a basketball game, you know, we would be there to encourage us, you know, to push our, our friends up and our teammates. And so I did that, and, and I became an All-American in high school. I was sixth in the United States, and then I ended up going to the University of Oregon. Um, a track scholarship. I, I was a discus thrower shot putter for the Oregon Ducks, and I'm still in the top 10 there, which is awesome. I think I'm number two in the shot put and number three in the discus. And so that's been like, I'm not going to tell you how many years, but if you go on University of Oregon's website, you'll be able to find me. 
it will be under Cora Aguilar. But anyway, um, the, what I, well, my point is on that is that the Lord was telling me, he said, when, when you were with your coaches and you, you, you trusted your coaches, and, and I did. I mean, I trusted whatever my coach told me to do, I would do. And, and I believed in him. I, I didn't know what the results would be, but I just trusted in him. And so the Lord says the same thing. If you just trust in me, and if you look to me for guidance and direction, I will show you. I will tell you. Just open up your ear so that you can hear and listen to what I have to say. And so I did that. I did it, and, and here I am now, and, and I, it's just amazing. But anyway, my life wasn't that good as, as, it per, as I'm portraying it to be right now, you know, growing up in junior high and high school because of the athleticism. But I got married, and uh, my husband and I, we both did drugs, cocaine, meth, and, and even some marijuana. And those things are destroyers. The devil, his hands are all in that. And he wants you to, to be depressed, oppressed. He wants you to feel like you're useless and that there's no hope. And I'm talking to some of you out there. I know that a, a, across this world, there are hurting people, hurting people out there. And I just want to encourage you that, that, that life is, 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 is a life to live. And, and you don't have to worry about not being able to overcome anything because Jesus is the overcomer of, of everything. He, he is, he is the, the life. He, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And, and I'm telling you right now that, that even though when the devil comes in there and he wants to try and keep you down and, and you feel like you still need those, the use of drugs because you just can't seem to break away, but let me tell you, Jesus will not only help you break away, he will break through for you. And he will lift you up where you need to be. I have seen people struggle, struggle, and they can't do it by themselves. But with the Lord, you can do anything. Anything and everything is possible. And, and I just want to um, introduce to, my, to you my brother, Gerald Jones. And, and he's from the Church of, um, of God in Christ. Yeah. And, and so we're going to be going back and forth and talking a little bit because, um, you know, he has a powerful um, uh, ministry. And, um, and I'm bringing him on here right now because I'm one of those people that I'm here on this TV show to encourage others. Um, if I can do, it, do, do this and be on television, live TV, you can be on it too. And, I, and if you have a word in you, if, if you have a, a message or if you want to sing or a talent or a special gift that the Lord has given you, call me up on Facebook. You can Facebook me, Cora Aguilar Langford. And, and I, 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 in fact, I even put something on there today, a post. And I'm going to be hosting a talent show here. And, and um, I, I just want to encourage people because um, you can do it. You can do it. All things are possible if you just allow the Holy Spirit to work in you. And I just want to say this, that, that God um, has not given us a, a, a spirit of fear, okay? 2 Timothy um, 1, 7. In fact, Gerald knows this scripture. In fact, I'm going to let him um, tell that, talk about that scripture. Praise God. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and a sound mind. Amen. So God sets us free from fear. Fear is the opposite of faith. So when we have faith, we believe God. You know, we, he's the rewarder of them that Amen. diligently seek him. Hebrews 11, uh, 6 tells us that, uh, you know, we believe first that God is, and then we know that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So that's the spirit of faith. But the spirit of fear will cause us to run uh, and to do things that are contrary to our Father. Yes. And uh, so we need to uh, have the hope and trust that uh, God will bring us through. Amen. 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 And, and that's, you know, in these times right now in this world, how, how there's so much, um, so many bad things that are happening, especially with our youth. Um, I, I, I feel my heart just goes out to the youth. And, and I want to encourage the youth out here that, that even you guys can even be on TV. 
I, and I'm going to be hosting this talent show, and, and I want everyone to come out. I, I want to give everyone an opportunity. I'm here to push you through. I'm here to encourage you to do the things that, that, that the devil wants to keep you down, okay? And, and, I, and, and not only that, but, but, but we're here to prophesy as, 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 as ministers of the Lord. Um, the Lord has given me this spiritual gift, and, and, I, I, and I thank God for that. And, and I just want to encourage you that, that that suicide spirit is out there right now. And so many youth feel like they're useless and, and that they're not being loved. And I'm telling you right now, there's people out there that, can be, that are there to help you. If, 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 even if you Facebook me and you're going through a struggle, I promise you I will be there to help you. I want to help you. And if you call the phone lines again, I want to give this number out because it's so important that you make a phone call. I want, we want to pray for you. We, we believe in healing. We, 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 have, we, we, we believe that God can heal you. If you have cancer, if there's any sort of um, lung cancer, if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, if you have a heart, heart problems, whatever it is, I believe, we believe, and when two or three are gathered in agreement, in Gerald, is in our midst where two or three are gathered. Everywhere that Jesus went, he forgave. Everywhere that Jesus went, he saved. He didn't turn anyone down. In the scriptures, it talks about his love being promiscuous. It goes to anybody and everybody if they believe, if they accept him. He saved all that came to him. He healed all that came to him. He forgave, and he met their needs. He, he fed them. Amen. He's the same as Hebrews 13, 8 tells us yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Amen. Never leave us or forsake us. Yes, Amen. yes. So, so I just want to, you know, encourage all of you. And let me get back to my, my, my story because I, it's important that we understand the reason why I even um, gave this name of the show Overcome by Love is because I have been overcome by love. And, and forgiveness, this is, this is such a, a huge thing with, with Christians and even non-Christians, is that we are in a time where we need to forgive the people that have hurt us. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a struggle because the devil, he uses that unforgiveness to keep you tied down. And um, I just want to share with you that, that the reason why I can explain this to you about forgiveness and love is because when I finally, this, this past year, I went to my father and I explained to him that after all these years that I wanted to forgive him for the things that he had done to me as a young girl. And let me tell you, I was only thinking about myself. I didn't even know about my dad. I didn't know what he was going through all these years. He had been being tormented by the devil. The devil had him bound and chained up just like he had me bound and chained up. But let me tell you, something happened. When, when, I, when I told my dad that I forgave him, and then when my dad cried out to me, and he said, Cora, do you forgive me? He said, I already had asked the Lord to forgive, to forgive him for what he did to me. And I said, yes, Dad, I forgive you. And let me tell you, the Holy Spirit just took over me and I just, this whole empowerment of love just came around me and inside of me. And I couldn't, I couldn't do anything but just cry because the love, the love of Jesus came in my life. And let me tell you, if, if, if there's like a struggle, an argument or something like that that you have with a family member and that because you guys are mad just because you guys don't agree on something, let me tell you, the devil has you chained to that. And he'll, and he'll keep on. The, 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 the thing is, is that God, you might be out here because of this, this complaint of your, of your family members, but God wants to bring you together. And if you look, it's kind of like a heart shape almost, right? I mean, you can almost make a heart shape out of it. And that's what God wants. He wants you to come back into his heart. And, and the only way that you can break those chains is, is if you need to forgive people. And, and I know Gerald has some scriptures on, on forgiveness yes. and love. Correct, correct. For God so loved the world. Oh, yes. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So as I had said before about the agape love of God, the unconditional love, 
Amen. The love that only God can give. Amen. The love that God has is so great for his people. Amen. And for those that are not his people, for it says in Romans that he loved us when we were yet sinners, no, not part of the commonwealth, but he loved us and died for us. He also uh, gave his life on the cross and he arose again to justify us. So if we confess Jesus with our mouth and believe in our heart that he is the son of God and arisen from the dead, the love of God comes upon us and we're able to love and forgive others Ooh, hallelujah. when they have done us so wow. wrong over the years. But God wow. gives us that love to forgive them and then they can see the love and that brings them to God. Amen. Amen. Romans 5, 9. Amen. The Amen. Romans road to salvation. Praise so, God. So that's, that's why it's so important that, that we forgive um, people because God wants to take you to a higher level. He, he wants to move you. He, he wants to just pour his love into you. He wants to walk with you during the day. And let me tell you, people, sometimes it does not matter where you're at right now. If you're out there, you know, at a bar and you're having drinks or, or you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing, God wants to meet you right where you're at. Not, not you, he doesn't want you to come and get all cleaned up and say, okay, I, you know, I'm here now. No, he wants you right where you're at. That's, where, that's the heart of God. Is he, he wants to meet you right where you're at so it does not matter how many times that you try and you, you still stumble god wants to pull you out of that he wants to pull you out and and he wants to give you his love and and so sometimes you know we get stuck and and, and stagnated and 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 sometimes we don't know what to do but that's when god says look i'm knocking at the door just open up the door let me in i'm not going to judge you I'm not going to condemn you. All I want to do is wrap my arms around you and love on you. And that's the love of Christ. That's just the love of Christ. So I'm telling you right now, people, there's, there's so, so many people out there that are hurting. And it's because of this unforgiveness. But God came into this world to love on you. And I just want to encourage you to reach out to someone, a pastor, you know, someone that's, that's spiritual, someone who's, who has the Holy Ghost in them, because God is a Savior. He wants to save you from the things that you're bound in. And, and like Brother Gerald said in, in, in John 3, 16, you know, he, he gave his only son for us, for us to love on us. And there's no greater, greater love than that when you have Jesus in your life. In fact, Brother Gerald, um, I know that, that, at you being at your church, I know you've probably seen a lot of people coming up to the altar, yes. repenting, Every and being Sunday. saved. And if you want to just even explain that and, and what, what we need to do for these people to help them out. Amen, amen. Uh, Romans, Romans 10, 9 tells us, the Romans road to salvation. It's as easy to be saved as A, B, C. A, you have to admit. Admit you are a sinner. Romans 3, 23 says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Then B, believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and arisen from the dead, and you shall be saved. You have to believe in your heart. B, believe. And C, confess with your mouth, Romans 10, 9. The belief that you have in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God and arisen from the dead, and you shall be saved. You first, you know, admit you're a sinner, confess and repent of your sins. B, believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and arisen from the dead in your heart and then see confess this belief that you have in your heart openly that jesus is the son of god and, and arisen from the dead with your mouth and you shall be saved the love has come upon you you have been overcome then with love and the spirit of god the spirit of love and uh praise god praise the lord you know i just um i'm just so excited about this talent show and i don't know if you were able to um read on my facebook page that I'm going to encourage people to come out and give them five minutes to come and sing a song and be on, on live TV across the world. <laughs> oh, well, yes, around the world. And, and, and let me tell you, if you got that special gift, you're going to get noticed on TV. Let me tell you. So um, it, it's amazing to, um, to, to um, Facebook me 
and, and I'm telling you that it's going to be amazing um, time for, for the people. I just want to raise you up. God, it, God's army, it's time for God's army to be raised up. So it's, it's no more sitting around and thinking that, oh, you're, you're not good enough. You are good enough. Um, God is, is, is a God of love. And, um, and it's going to be amazing, amazing time. So just keep continued on, on this um, gathering every Friday. Um, and I will tell you more details on when I'm planning to do this um, talent show. And it's going to be an amazing time. We're, we're going out of the box. We're going to go out of the box. And we're going to do something that's going to be on, on Christian TV that the world needs to see. And it's going to be amazing. Yes. All right, there a Holy Ghost American that. Idol. Holy Ghost American yes. Idol. Yes, yes. Yeah, Amen. That's, that's Amen. our new theme, all right? Amen. <laughs> Won't you pray us out? Pray all us right. out. All right. Dear Amen. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, Father God, and I pray for all these people who are sick, who are, who are injured, Lord, who have broken hearts, Father God, who need healing in their bodies right now. Father God, I come to you right now, Lord, with your power, Lord, your might, Father God. I ask you to touch them, Lord. I ask you to anoint them, Father God, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, Father God. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to do an amazing thing. Change their hearts, Father God. I ask you to love on them, Father. I ask you to be with them and take care of them, Father God. I ask you to meet their needs, Father. I ask you to help them with jobs, Father. Whatever it is, whatever their hearts are, Father God. I ask you to pour out blessings upon them, Father God. I ask you to bring living waters into them, Father God, and let the water flow in and out of them, Father God. Enlighten them, Father God, with the fire of the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Father God, we love you. We thank you for this program, Father God, and I thank you for touching our people, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Woo. Glory, Hallelujah. glory, thank glory. You, Father God. Thank I don't you. know if there's anything else that you want to say. Oh, February 8th, you're going to be Amen. coming on. Praise God. Right? Tune, February tune in 8th. February 8th. 8th. Jesus is our jubilee. We love everyone, and Jesus loves you best. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you so much for joining me, Overcome by Love. Watch me next Friday night at 6 o'clock, and we are here. The phone lines, be sure to, to, to call in to us. Thank you so much. We love you.